Welcome, Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Great. There's a whiskey from Titan, Bob Vinca. Daniel, the distance, do you hear that? I hear a... Yes. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something and I just... Uh, there was nothing there. It's too early. It was too early. It's First the, episode of the batch. I don't know why, but... It's just Monday mornings are worse than Thursday. This is the same time yeah. we always shot. Yeah, but it's usually but, Thursday. We moved it to Monday. Yeah, Mondays are worse. Monday. Yeah. I agree. Maybe we need to move it to 11, but then that sort of jacks the whole day. Here's to worse. Okay, this is from Tenth Mountain. I'm getting into it. Which is this is me getting into it. Right here. It sure looks like it. Yep, Monday morning. Here we go. It's me into it. So hard and good. <laughs> this is a Colorado malt distillery, Tenth Mountain. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So have we had Tenth Mountain before? Yes. Okay. But this one is their two-year-old New American oak. New American oak. And um Malt in new oak. Yeah, this is just Colorado. a more recent release, and it's been a long time since we did ten. We pounds. very often like Colorado. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if it holds true. New oak. That's new oak, and then man, this. I'm trying to find the malt in this. Yeah, me too. I was thinking this is a weird grain mash bill for a malt smell, mm -hmm. but it, I mean, it should just be malt, right? It's a very, very weedy, like a raw, toasty wheat bread. I. I think With it's, uh, I think it's the barrel choice. It's the cinnamon, no, it's not, not cinnamon sugar. Maybe it's a little cinnamon sugar, but de definitely like a buttered toast, sugar sprinkle on top. Is there cinnamon? It could be cinnamon yeah. toast crunch, so I but had it's this, also grainy. I would have this Green. as a kid. You get a piece of, uh, you know, like wheat bread. Very, mm. very, very wheaty. Not like right, kind of like half white, half white. Yeah, yeah. Very grain forward, and then you toast it, put on butter, and you put on cinnamon, you put on sugar. Right. It's good. I'm getting a lot of that in the nose. Yeah, I'm not finding maltiness though. I think the new barrel is overwhelming the malty notes. I'm waiting for the fruit fruitiness, that sort of you know, melon and yeah. No, this is baking spices. This is American whiskey, but I wouldn't say American malt. I'm trying to find the malt. Hmm. If it's not, it's no, not bad. Right. I'm gonna take a sip and maybe it's in the palate. Yeah. What did you say the proof was, by the way? Uh, two years, mm -hmm. forty-five percent, ninety proof. And this is batch one? Okay. Okay. I wonder of what series. The nose sets you up right in line with the taste. It's a little less grainy than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little bitter on the end. Yeah, it does. You get that? New, the new barrel shows up. I wonder where I um, put And it straight. doesn't start there at all. Oh, it shows up and then it just swells. On the end, yeah, that you're delayed from that bitterness for you know most of the most of the taste, and then when it finally kicks in, it swells up and gives you just that bitter note with a sweet wrapper around it. I think that Tenth Mountain is uh, was something other than their mall. I don't know. I can't find it. It's been a while, but barrel bitterness on the end. It's it was, really young, and I think they're using a specific barrel company. Do you, is it small barrels, do you think? Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know if it's small. It very well could be smaller barrels, but yeah. they have that sort of... There's, what, the mushroom is the wrong word, but wet wood. Damp wood. A little bit. Hmm. I always get weirded out whenever I see our bottle on the shelf. Right there? Yeah. Like it's going to fall or just weird out of context? Yeah, it's out of context. Yeah. It's like, we don't do our stuff here. No. No, I wanted that one because at the time we didn't have a lot of examples of used oak bourbon mesh bill. Hmm. How many Eleanor bottle designs have we gone through? Thirty. Four. Because uh, the, the dimpled, the dimpled, dimpled glass. Then this. Yeah, and then, then the shoulder. that, now on the, the, the one. Yeah, well, it's just, yeah, the thing that everybody uses. Yeah. Actually, I say that next to the bottle is yeah. that bottle design yeah. that everybody else uses. What is that? Micro distillery, Boulder? Yeah, it's Boulder. Vapor. Okay. 
Oh, excuse me. The whiskey's boring, Daniel. Yeah, no, the morning is. <laughs> uh, honestly, there's not much more than what we were initially getting on the nose. No, it's very simple. Hmm. I mean, there's layers, but the nose sets you up for the taste, but that bitterness was the only thing that showed up on the taste that I wasn't expecting from the nose. One thing that's cool about this has nothing to do with whiskey, is you know there's a lot of distilleries that like to be like, yeah, troops, go America, right? Yeah. We're started by troops, we're in, these guys are not fucking around. They donate, the list of things that they donate to from their distillery yeah, yeah. is astronomical. Oh, yeah. And the real amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Like, they are funneling very real amounts of money back into supporting the military oh. in, like, uh, So they're just not, they're just not, like, talking about it, trying to use it as... No. ...a way to kind of, you know, <laughs> scam you into having certain feelings about them. It's real. Yeah, there's a, hey, America, right? Yeah, give me your money. Well, no, they, they're, they're actually doing stuff. They named themselves after 10th Mountain, which was in uh, at Colorado where military went and got trained. It's pretty famous, like mm -hmm. way back in the day. Uh, Even. Yeah, this the youngness of this, it's yeah. a little brash. I think that's kind of what's holding me back from really getting into it. Yeah, the there's new... something else for me too, though. I, I think it's... The new oak is dominating the malt notes. It is, for sure. And so I think it's a little overpowering for me. But those baking spices, and I think I have a, a positive association with that cinnamon, that um, buttered cinnamon sugar toast from when I was a kid. I could have argued that that had more than malt in the mash bill. Mm -hmm. I could have argued that there was corn in there. Because of sweetness? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And maybe even more than that. Hmm. But it's not. It's not it's distilled from barley. Yeah, it's not headed in a bad direction if that barrel note doesn't keep creeping up. It's just confusing. Yeah. It's out of, like, if this had been in a lineup of malts, I would have rated this one lower for being out of character. Yeah. But as a standalone spirit, it's like, well, that's fine, yeah. So if, yeah, that barrel note, that's, mm -hmm. that's something that, that builds over time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or is it something that... It initially swells up and then it tames. It swells up and tames. Okay, because this is this specific is specific barrel note. Okay, that is swollen right now. Yeah, but if that tamed out, maybe and, yes. And then maybe. the other flavors kind of relaxed and matured a little bit. That could be good. Yeah. Hmm. We have Mark Hines seventy thirty nine. No, we don't have their rye. Boys, how embarrassing is it that you say that you don't have <laughs> something? Do you look around the vault and just shake your head? Yeah. Man, anytime someone's like, you got that? And I look around and I can't find it, I'm always a little surprised. Yeah. There's a tremendous numbers of distilleries, but yes. also whiskey distilleries. Yeah, so think about it this way. When we started, yeah. there was, I think, under a thousand, when we started the channel, yeah. I think there was under a thousand craft distilleries. Mm -hmm. Now there's over 3,000 craft distilleries. Yeah. If all we did was one bottle from one of each of those craft distilleries, it would be as much as what's in this room. Yeah. And that doesn't count for all their special releases and they have a variety of products. The whiskey world, if you've ever wanted to be alive drinking whiskey, this is the time, man. Yes, the golden age. This is it. The golden age. It's as good as it gets and uh, you have more variety than you ever could have had at any time in history. Sean Lambie, 875, new hand tattoo? Oh yeah, it, I, there were enough comments. I was like, all right, fine. Yes, new tattoo. Which way is north? Whatever way I want it to be. Yep. <laughs> just go, um, that way. That seems like that way. <laughs> I would keep telling my boys, it just points towards what I want. <laughs> What's it's also so I won't get lost. Those are the only two, like once you get a new tattoo or something like that, mm. you discover after about a month mm. that you have default answers to things. Mm. You develop them. Mm -hmm. It's like, so what's that? My default answer for this one? It's a Rorschach tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's just, you see what you want to see. Mm. <laughs> Let me see. What do I see in this? I see a lizard fighting a jacked up snake over a morsel of meat. Done. Is yeah. that the morsel of meat? It is. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that snake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This one I just say, this is so I don't get lost. Oh, yeah. Oh, home. Okay. Okay, this seems like the right way. <laughs> What's your North Star? Whatever's in my hand. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. So I, I don't think it lived up to the standard that I have, unfairly, 
with expectation of something coming out of Colorado. I agree. Especially malt. I agree. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink less. less.